if you had those situations where you're unsure, you feel some weird symptoms, you're not sure whether your Apple Watch is giving the correct diagnosis on it, it is not picking everything up, it says maybe this, maybe that, the way to actually diagnose this, of course, is either come into the office when you're having symptoms, do an EKG, or do heart rhythm monitors. And as I said, the heart rhythm monitor, you can wear for a prolonged period of time. It stays on your body, it records your heart rhythm for one day, one week, two weeks, four weeks, and then the report gets sent to a cardiologist or cardiac electrophysiologist, whoever ordered it, and we can then interpret those squiggly little lines and actually say what's going on. And it also has lots of useful data, like what range of speeds does your heart go at, and if you are in atrial fibrillation, what percent of time. Now, for people who have very infrequent symptoms, because sometimes people say, hey, I feel these weird palpitations, but they're not all the time. And somebody put a 30-day monitor on me, and they missed it. And then right after I turned it in, I felt, palpitations, so how am I gonna make the diagnosis? And my Apple Watch is not very clear. It's not completely certain whether I'm an AFib or not. It says maybe AFib, but I'm not really sure. How do I make the diagnosis? Well, there is a device called a loop recorder. A loop recorder is specifically invented to make the diagnosis in people who are not having frequent symptoms.